European Burmese Cat vs. European Shorthair Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The ancestors of the Burmese are the Siamese and the Copper Cat of Burma, now known as Myanmar. It's thought that they were temple and palace cats bred and kept by priests. The matriarch of the modern Burmese was a small, dark brown cat named Wangmao. She belonged to Dr. Joseph Thompson, who either acquired her from a sailor or brought her back himself from his travels, depending on which story you believe. The history of the European shorthair goes back to ancient Rome, where the breed was coveted for their great hunting skills. As the cat began to make their way around Europe, they first became renowned as an excellent farm cat, again due to the breed's talent at controlling vermin, before becoming accepted as the popular house cat that they are today. Besides color, the European Burmese and the Burmese have other differences in appearance. The European has a more moderate appearance, especially when it comes to head type. He is more gently rounded with a body that is less compact but never long and slinky like that of the Siamese. The top of the head is slightly rounded with plenty of space between the ears and wide cheekbones that taper to a short, blunt wedge. The eyes, which range in color from yellow to amber, slant more toward the nose and have a less rounded opening than the eyes of the Burmese. Medium size ears are slightly rounded at the tips and tilt slightly forward. Slender legs are supported by small, oval paws. A medium length tail tapers slightly to a rounded tip. Like the Burmese, the European Burmese is heavier than he looks and can also lay claim to the description of brick wrapped in silk. He wears a short and satiny coat that comes in 10 different colors, brown, blue, chocolate, lilac, red, cream, and brown, blue, chocolate, and lilac tortoiseshell. The coat colors shade gradually to the roots, with the underside of the body slightly lighter than the top. Red European Burmese comes in a warm orange apricot shade and may have slight tabby markings on the face. Cream-colored cats may also have slight tabby markings, and their nose leather and paw pads are pink. Blue is the same as in the Burmese, and the lilac coat is the same as the platinum coat of the Burmese. Brown is a rich, warm, seal brown, and chocolate is a warm milk chocolate color. Tortoise shells have patches of color over the entire body. The European short hair is a breed of cat that you'll see in a large variety of colors and markings. Common colors include brown, black, tan, and gray, and they're often seen sporting distinctive tabby patterns. When it comes to grooming, the European short hair is a fairly low maintenance feline. Due to their short hair, you'll only need to brush the cat once a week or so. This will help ward off the chances of hairballs and mats forming. In terms of climate, the European short hair is generally an adaptable breed of cat. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. When it comes to personality, the European Burmese and the Burmese are in alignment. The European Burmese is energetic and friendly. He has the charm and determination of his Siamese ancestors and enjoys conversation as much as that breed, but his voice is soft and sweet, belying his tendency to run the household with an iron paw sheathed in velvety fur. He is highly intelligent and seeks out human companionship, so he's not best suited to a home where he will be left alone much of the day. If no humans will be around to engage his intellect, be sure he has the company of another pet. He gets along well with other cats and with dogs, but of course another Burmese, of either type, will be his best pal. The European Burmese is about as curious as cats come. Expect him to explore your home thoroughly and know all of its nooks and crannies. He is playful and remains so into adulthood. Tease his clever mind with interactive toys, and teach him tricks that will allow him to show off for an audience. Besides sit, roll over, wave and come, he can learn to fetch a small toy or walk on a leash. With proper early conditioning, car rides and vet visits will be a breeze. A European Burmese is a good choice if you don't object to complete loss of privacy. This cat will want to be involved in everything you do, from reading the newspaper and working at the computer to preparing meals and watching television. He will, of course, sleep on the bed with you and may even snuggle under the covers. When you are sitting down, he will be in your lap or right next to you, waiting expectantly to be petted. You will be scolded if you ignore him. Guests will receive his full attention, and it is likely that he will win over even those who claim to dislike cats. A female European Burmese is the very definition of queenliness. She likes attention and she likes to be in charge. Males are more restful, satisfied to fill a lap. Whichever you choose, it's likely that you will soon find yourself yearning for another. European short hair has picked up a sterling reputation as one of the most desirable house cats you could hope to adopt. This breed is athletic and intelligent, and they also love to form strong bonds with the humans in their lives. 
European shorthairs will happily end fun-filled play sessions by cuddling up on the couch with you, and these kitties also get along well with children. One aspect to consider, however, is the breed's territorial streak so take appropriate steps if that might be an issue. While there can be a lot of variety in the personality between individual European shorthairs, in general, you're looking at a feline who's a wonderful balance between being playful and loyal traits that make them some of the best companion cats to adopt for a wide range of people, including the very young and very old. The soft, short coat of the European Burmese is easily cared for with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. A bath is rarely necessary. It's important to keep up your European shorthair's regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Like all cats, they are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a European Burmese and European short hair as an indoor only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social European Burmese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily, and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. The European Shorthair is a loving cat that does very well with young children. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the European Shorthair fares well with many domestic animals although their hunting instincts might kick in if you already live with hamsters or guinea pigs. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your European Shorthair for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.